Hi, I'm Ryan Wetzel at ADHD Dude. If you have a question you would like me to answer in a future video, please head over to the Attitude Magazine website, go to the ADHD and Boys section, and you can submit your question there. And please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. In regards to this parent's question, the first thing I want to, you to understand is that obviously if this behavior has been going on for five or six years, it's serving a purpose for your son. And I believe it's serving two purposes. Number one, it's his way of avoiding a non-preferred task such as waking up. But number two, I think it's also a way for him to feel some sense of control over you. Because if you have to go in his room six times or whatever it is to wake him up, you know, he feels that he's in control of the situation and you are not. Okay, and obviously that gives him some sense of control or some it does something for him, okay, because it keeps happening over and over and it's been happening for years at this point. So here's how I think you should resolve this. I think you should sit down with him and say, hey, you know, this our mornings have been really tough for a long time, you know, so we need to figure out something that will help you get up in the morning without an argument and without us coming in multiple times. And what would you like to earn to help you be able to do that? All right, and what you want to do is you want to help him figure out some kind of incentive that he can earn every morning to help motivate him, all right, to get him out of bed and to do so without a fight. Because remember, for kids with ADHD, their ability to think into the future is pretty narrow. So what you want to do is you need to have that incentive happen, you know, as soon as possible so it feels tangible to him. The other thing I want you to do is help him to understand that his behavior is not age expected. So part of that conversation is to help him understand, you know, at 12, this is not something that boys your age really do anymore. So that's why we need to talk about this and come up with a solution. And I would make the criteria for him earning this incentive, you know, two things. Number one, that you don't have to come into his room more than twice. And number two, that your mornings happen without him yelling or any of this negativity. And the way I would frame it to him is this. Say, if you are able to do this, you know, and with us only coming in your room twice and without any of the arguing or anything, then you earn this. And if you choose to not do it, well, then you've chosen not to earn it. And notice that the language I'm using, I'm doing that because we want to put the accountability on him. So it's not that you're taking away the incentive. It's that he's choosing not to earn it that morning. OK, so what I would do is, you know, when this starts, you know, and pick a day with him to start it. And you could even, you know, put the criteria on, you know, a piece of printed paper and hang it up somewhere. Um, you know, I would remind him once in that morning about it. And after that, if there's any negativity, completely ignore it. OK, because part of the reason he keeps doing this is because obviously you must be responding to it in some way, um, not intentionally, but you are. So if he starts with the negativity or the yelling at you or get out, do not, you know, pay any attention to it. Pretend you don't even hear it. OK. So this might take a little while. You might need to change the incentive, um, you know, or adjust things a little bit to see what really motivates him. And that's fine because that's all part of the learning process here. All right. I hope this is helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and please join the ADHD Dude Facebook group if you're not there already. And I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.